Big Bore Blowguns specializes in large caliber blowguns like the 625 Magnum I have here. The reason is this blowgun shoots darts that are 20% faster and three times heavier than the competitions. In the following demonstrations, we're going to give you graphic proof of why the 625 Magnum is superior as a hunting arm, a tool of self-defense, and most of all, a means of recreation that will amaze and delight you and your family for many years to come. Now let's review some of the component parts of the blowgun. Let's start at the top here. At the top of our blowgun, we have the handle mouthpiece. This is an integral unit made out of plastic, and it gives you a really good secure grip when you want to use your blowgun as a walking stick. And also, this um, unique shape here of the mouthpiece provides a place for your thumb to rest. In England, they have walking sticks designed like this that they call thumb sticks. So this is a very good handle mouthpiece um, design. It works for the blowgun, and it works as a walking stick. The other thing I want to point out here is right here at the very beginning of um, the mouthpiece, there's a small ring of plastic, and this is an anti-inhalation device. This keeps you from sucking the dart back into your lungs inadvertently when you're preparing to shoot the blowgun, and it's a really good safety feature. And it does slow the loading of the blowgun a little bit, but it's a small price to pay for the peace of mind knowing that you're not going to be uh, swallowing a dart suddenly and unexpectedly. Now let's move down to the quiver. The quiver can be adjusted anywhere you want on the barrel of the blowgun. It fits on with good friction so you can move it around to suit you. It holds 12 darts and it's made out of polypropylene. It holds the darts really securely and you can add multiple quivers. You just don't have to have one. Each blowgun comes with one quiver, but you can buy more if you like. And when I'm hunting, I usually do two quivers, but you can, if your arms are long and you can get the spacing to, to hold your arms on the blowgun um, around the quivers, you can have even three and four quivers. It depends on your body type. But that's something to keep in mind when you're thinking about using the blowgun for hunting is carrying some extra quivers. Now, this is our five foot model. And we've talked about this earlier. This barrel is very rigid and strong. And moving down the barrel to the end, we have the ferrule. The ferrule is made out of plastic, and it protects the muzzle of the blowgun from damage when you're using it as a walking stick. Now, these ferrules are very economical. Uh, they're easy to replace. They don't cost much money. So don't be afraid to use your blowgun as a walking stick because you can easily replace the ferrules. So there you have it. That's the major components of the blowgun. You have the handle mouthpiece, the quiver, we have the barrel of the blowgun, and down here we have the ferrule. Loading our 625 Magnum blowgun is dead easy. All you have to do is take the ferrule off the bottom so you don't have an obstruction in the bore. Don't forget to put it in your pocket so you don't lose it. Select a dart that you want to shoot insert it into the bore, pushing it past the little plastic safety ring. Now, once you do that, don't let the tip of your blowgun turn down like this, because your dart could slide all the way through the bore and come out the other end. Keep it tipped up so the dart stays in the correct spot, and there you have it. You're loaded, ready to shoot. Shooting a blowgun is a lot of fun, but there's one thing you have to keep in mind before you shoot your blowgun, and that's safety. Always make sure to look at your target and make sure that you have a good, safe backstop behind it if your dart should miss its quarry. Um, you don't want that dart to ricochet off and hit an innocent bystander or a pet. So keep in mind that you have to have a good backstop, a good, safe area for your dart to land. And you'll always come right when you're shooting a blowgun. Now, Prepare to shoot, all you do is stick your dart in the bore, like so, pushing it past the safety ring. And what I like to do is I start out with my feet about shoulders distance apart, right square in front of my target. Then I take one step forward with my strong side, which is my right foot. I take one step forward, and I line the bore of the blowgun with my target. Now, I'm going to take my left hand and put it right here on the handle mouthpiece. And I'm going to support the barrel of the blowgun 
on my middle finger and thumb, and I'm going to keep those firmly in place with my index finger. It's just going to kind of nestle just like this. And you want to have a pretty good grip here with your forward hand because that'll keep your blowgun muzzle from wandering when you shoot. You want to keep it rigidly in place on your target. Now, the next thing you have to do is get your power source ready. That means you have to fill your lungs with air. For safety, turn your head slightly to the side so there's even less danger of inhaling a dart accidentally. Fill your lungs from the bottom to the top. Take a deep breath. You want to get as much air into your lungs as you can because you're going to violently, violently exhale it in just a moment. So fill your lungs all the way to the top. Then you're going to seal your lips to the mouthpiece tightly, like this. Okay? You're going to get a good seal with your lips on the mouthpiece, and you're going to line the bore, and then you're going to violently exhale all of the air in your lungs. All that stored power is going to go out in one hard blast, propelling the dart towards the target. Now, this is pretty simple, but it takes a little bit of time to get good accuracy, so you need to practice. The good thing is, the practice is a lot of fun. So here's how you shoot. You're going to line the bore with the target, you're going to turn your head to the side, fill your lungs, and shoot violently, expelling all of the air from your lungs just like that, keeping the bore aligned with the target. 